Leon killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. And then Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Chiro. And then he got executed. Fumi killed Taka, then Selyse killed Fumi. Then she got executed. And that brings us up to now. Just in case you needed a recap. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Selyse's case. So now there's only five of us here. <sighs> only a third of the number of people we started with. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. Hmm. That's true. Still. Oh yeah. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sucker is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? Hmm? Makoto, are you okay? Uh, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. Okay, in that case, let's eat till we pass out. Hmm? What do you mean, in that case? Cause, I mean... Well, because look how scary everyone looks. It's gotta be because you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you feel your belly, I'm sure you'll cheer up. So let's eat. Uh, she's still caring. Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. What? What? That's like Deep Impact style, Meteor Impact, Extinction Level Event, combination of foods. What? Those are both breakfast times top top time top top sellers. <laughs> Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. That's right. Since the class trial is over, new areas should have opened up. It's true. Plus, we still have alter ego. We don't need to give up and despair just yet. She's right. We have to plan ahead and think about the future. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Think happy thoughts, not deathly thoughts. You know. Deathy. <laughs> Like we like like when we're gonna get out of here, right? For serious. When this is all over, I think I'm gonna be reborn for serious. Uh, I mean, reborn as someone serious. Well. Hey, you okay? Sounds like there's something someone. Sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. Hmm. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't gonna be any more murders. Um. Huh? What? What makes you so sure? According to the spirit. I predicted it last night. Since it revealed itself to me from any, from the other, there's no doubt about it. However. How accurate your fortune telling is. How about that? Uh, how, it's, how, fortune, how accurate is it? I can usually hit 20 or 30% on a good day. Hmm. That seems really low. It's not like some well, yeah, it's mystery. Not like, it's not like it's ESP or some whatever. Of course I'm only going to get it right sometimes. The occult is bull crap. Told you, my fortune... Wait, the occult is bullcrap? Isn't he... Oh, no, actually, never. now that I think about occult and fortune telling are two different things. So, um, Fortune telling isn't a cult? You got it all wrong. Of course not! Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put into that category as cattle mutilation. Huh? Cattle what? So. He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of research. Actually. No, you're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. It's a matter of fact. It's happened to me. Hmm. It's all happened one day when I go get out the hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. They all claimed their patties were 100% beef. So I got a burger to go and head it home. But before long, the, end is nice. the sky was filled with mysterious blinding light. Well, some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. And then, still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart. One part of it just vanished. Well, the rest fell back into my hand. Do you realize what that means? It means the burger wasn't 100% beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. You can't trick me. So I stole back into the burger place and got up in the manager's grill. And they totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef. They totally mixed in ground pork with it. How about that? Now, do you see it? That is cattle mutilation. I kind of got lost halfway through. <sighs> I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You th stink of stupidity. Don't be mean. I stink of. How dare you? <sighs> well, you do stink, though. Hmm. That's fine. Huh? That's fine. Uh, anyway, I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah. Me neither. I mean, I would never. Of course. Me neither. Indeed. Nor I. 
That goes for me too, of course. I could never kill any of my friends. Friends? Who are you talking about? Tsugami? What are you doing here? I'm here to kill you bitches. Is that okay? Fukawa and I are both here. And there's five of you around, actually. We can't kill all of you. Fukawa, go get the monstrous girl and the big boobed woman. I'll go get the detective and the smart ass guy. What about what about Hakakure? Uh, leave him to the cockroaches. No, not cockroaches. No. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become reunited. But to be honest, I wish Byakuro and Toko were here for this too. But but they're so hot. What the hell was wrong with that voice? It sounded like it was coming out of a weak microphone. But they're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. <sighs> yeah, we're better off without him, I say. That was enough to prove we were united for the time being, but within that bond hid weakness and fragility. Oh? Alter Ego and As Asahina. We began our search as soon as we'd finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to finish we had to find out what was opened up opened up. What was waiting for us. Okay, time to go to the third floor. Wrong one. Bomba. Come on. There. God damn it. So now we have access to the fourth floor of the Hope's Peak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some clue. No, this time I have to find it. Okay, is there anything special in the toilets? Yeah, it's a girl's bathroom. It's pretty obvious just by looking at it. Ah, uh, boy. Oh, I can go in there. Cool. Nothing. I find it funny how I actually checked the boys' bathroom last time. And I noticed you can go into that area, but they didn't let me go into it. But yet, no other bathroom lets you go into that janitor's closet. I find that funny. No good, the door's locked. Guess I won't be getting in there. According to the nameplate, this is called the data processing room. Uh, but what's behind the door is a total mystery. The data lab. In the fan translation, it's called the data processing room. Sorry. Hey, Hakure. <sighs> I'm glad this floor got opened up and all, but there's like a ton of locked rooms up here. Gobble, gobble. One day I saw Monoku in class. La 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 Gobble 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 oh, Is that me? <laughs> do, 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 do. I did, 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 did what? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was weird Hello, I'm Rinnekomer from the school store. School, school store. I I am very kind. Gather up your coins and come play with me, or I might die of loneliness. Oh God, it's another photo. No. This is the office, but of course there's no hint of any teachers that we know we'll be able to reply on. Rely on, I mean. I need Monokuma coins. I need Monokuma coins. Give me my- Oh, yay! Oh, I still haven't bought presents. I actually think I'm going to do that off-screen, after I finish exploring the fourth floor, and then just add it in at the start of this episode. Nothing else there, you teased me. Teased me. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Huh? There's a picture on the floor. The picture. What? Salisa, Fumi, and Sayaka. Smiling faces of three people who are dead now. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. 
Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe that they were able to smile like that in a world of despair. So does that mean this picture was taken right before, um, was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in that picture knew each other before they got here. Including Sayaka. No, there's no way Monokuma did it. It must be a fake. <laughs> You're fake. Monokuma popped out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. <laughs> a forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on. Then you're saying this bitch is real? Hey! If there was um... such a thing as a Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Too bad! Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question, is this picture real or is it fake? Hmm. Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey! But it's um... not use, it's just no use. If you try to split something that you can't split, you'll end up feeling you're the one being split. It's the true. pitch is real, no more, no less. <laughs> Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's really real, if that's true. If that's the case... Then I don't know what! The nameplate on the door says Headmaster's Room. The Headmaster's Room, this must be something worthwhile. Huh? The door's locked. Damn it. No! What's in there? Oh. Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't permanent damage doesn't do permanent damage. It's a remarkably big shelf and it's stocked with all kinds of medicine. That's right! Ah! Listen, Makoto! Listen! Just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me! Okay, okay, Hina, just calm down. <gasps> There's all kinds of stuff we haven't had that before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine. Okay. And what? They even have Protozame X. What's that? Hey. A high quality protein drink. It's nothing like the cheap swill in the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Oh, yeah? <sighs> this is amazing. It's a gold mine. Oh, my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up some more prayers then. A gold mine, huh? <laughs> Time to load up some more. <laughs> He and his sucker seem to be lost in deep thought. Hey, Makoto. Huh? You need something? Uh, no, it's nothing. Huh? You sure? Okay, then. I need to talk to Sakura. Sakura's lost in conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the Mastermind, but I can't while she's mm -hmm. with Hina. What is it, Makoto? Do you need something? Uh, no, it's nothing. So then. Really? Well, okay. <laughs> I don't need anything. No, not at all. There's the Monokuma coins. The more I get from here, the more I get to do at the start of the next um, start of this episode. So technically, I'm doing things in the future to do it in the past, to do more in the past. Never thought that'd be possible, huh, guys? Do more in the future to do more in the past. <laughs> oh boy, I'm an idiot. Ooh, nice the music room. Hey, Kirigiri. So this is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. This is a giant grand piano. It seems really old, but it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around to play it, it's totally useless. But there's coins! Hey. You know, you haven't told me about you think yet. What I think? So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Did you see any ma um, ma naked guys in there? Oh, yes. Plenty. I fucked all of them until they were crying on the ground for more. And then I walked out of the room with them chained to the bath posts as they kept on trying to come after me. Oh, it was perfect, Kirigiri. Uh, are you sure you were not in the swimming pool? That's usually where all the naked men go. Ah. Uh, yeah, I may have taken the left turn too fast. You're secretly gay, aren't you? May, may, maybe, uh... Those are some nice, um... Stomach... You mean my breasts, don't you? Yes, I do. Then why can't you say it? B because, uh... Yeah, I'm gay. Well, um, I do find the secret room, but... As soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind, and I didn't have any time to react. 
so I didn't see who it was. And when it came to the mountain, the files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those were. That's fine. It's okay, I already saw what I needed to in there. I... And I half su suspected the mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance cameras in the hallway. They must have seen me going to the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Oh, you mean coming out of the pool where those sexy guys were. I'm, I'm, I'm stopping, I'm stopping, don't worry. Oh, whoops. I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. Um, still, I wanted you to go and see it. Okay. Essentially, I knew you to find. I knew. I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about the room. It would seem. But to attack you and steal everything in the room. That must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the mastermind's identity. Then you knew I was going to get attacked. That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing, though, right? After all, you're a boy. What does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. Let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note said you must not leave. Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Kirika stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So... I'm looking into it. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? Uh, she made it sound like she was asking. But it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then... So now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Hmm. Did you think I would have noticed you're hiding something from me? Am I oh, wrong? Oh, crap. And <laughs> she literally said I'm wrong. But uh, that's... Ugh, damn it. What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down somewhere? Uh, well. Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right, there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about a f your friend when you don't have any evidence for it. Oh, God. Um... Uh, I'm not gonna tell her. Sorry, sorry, I can't tell you. Not yet. Correct. So that's your answer. However, but do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but you're unwilling to share. I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. It's fine. Goodbye. Oh fucking hell! With those as her parting words, Kiriko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. I've already taken a good look at the things around him. There's a lot of thing. There's a lot to think about, but for now, I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. Oh boy, that sucked. Big time. Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes, hmm. So is this everyone? Well then. Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Okay, I'll see you up. Yeah. There's a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor and had all kinds of chemicals. Okay. And there is an old old star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least take go take a peek. I highly recommend it. <sighs> I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Hmm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff though. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, um... there was also a, a bunch of different poisons. Poison? Mm. They were all labeled clearly though, so it would be hard to grab one mistake by mistake. It's true. Still, we'd better make sure we're careful around them. Um... Uh, we probably shouldn't tell Byakuya or Toko about the poison. Huh? What do you mean? Well... Well, just in case, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um... uh, just in case? Yeah, I, I think you're right. However... It's Byakuya. He won't be long before he discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right on the open, it's absolutely the work of the mastermind. Yeah. Hmm. I found a couple of rooms in the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. Ah! The headmaster's room? That sounds like the exactly the kind of place we'd find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside. But... Who cares about a stupid lock? How about that? Should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. What was that? What? what? Ah! Poom, poom. No, please, continue! <laughs> Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block, the curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? What the heck? Oh, no, I didn't. Hey. Then what did you now. say? Because I know you weren't talking about turning the door to the headmaster's room. <laughs> Knocking down the headmaster's door? What kind of war and education are you trying to start here? Your teacher it's my room, you know? It's now. It is now, anyway. And you're With thinking of busting betrayal? it down? Wait, what was he saying? Betrayal? Strange. 
You seriously don't want to piss me off? You have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? Uh, um... uh, no, I was just, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. Damn it. I'm not mad. <laughs> They're doing faces. They're doing faces. Oh boy, this is wonderful. You're totally mad. This is kind of depressing. Oh, they stop their faces. <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're gonna go around having these thoughts, I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. Seriously? Bringing down locked doors prohibited. Nah, yeah, that's a rule. Now you jerks. <laughs> Is he gone? <laughs> Woo, man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was gonna kill me for serious. Well, but if he would go out of his way to make a, r a rule for that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. Or the data processing room. But now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Unless, of course, you bloody kept quiet and we knocked it down before it was a rule. Huh. Metal sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch. In other words... Just like everywhere else. Mm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. And now the bitch. Uh, Kyoko? She's ignoring me. So, um... Hey, Makoto. Does Kyoko seem upset to you? That's right! Yes, isn't she? She's totally mad. Eh, yeah, looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Ugh, this is bad. Hmm. So is everyone... Everyone said what they need to say? Hmm. I think so. We're serious. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out. Uh -huh. I haven't been this distressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone's do something to cheer me up. Uh, can I say something? How about that? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. That... That's... No, I have something I'd like to report. So you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one you showed Mondo, Chiro, and Leon all together, right? Huh? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one, another picture, almost just like that one. Huh? Another one? But this time the picture was of Salise, Hifumi, and Sayaka. Huh? And they're all smiling. In the classroom, the picture didn't have any metal covering the windows. <sighs> So the picture of Mondo, Chiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one that Salisa, Fumi, and Sayaka. Oh. Sakaya! Sakaya! <laughs> Sakaya! 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 Oh, oh, Sakaya! Oh, oh, Sakaya! 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 Yo! But... But how can you do... How can that... Conspiracy! Monokuma must have faked it! <laughs> Sakaya. But if the picture is real, then everyone who was in it, there would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? what? Can't be! It's a fake! But Monokuma said it was real. I know we could just I know we could just write it up as a lie, but So then. Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died. Huh? Because That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, no, that's not it. <laughs> I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refuse to do the same. Uh, that's not What's going on, Kiriko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come on. Come on, guys. Stop fighting. All your good luck is going to float away. Anyway, Mikoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. Of course. He's trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. Yeah, you may be right, but still. Are you still so conflicted? What? It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Byakia! <laughs> you all have some sunken look on your face. You're all so ugly before, you shouldn't let them sink any lower. <laughs> when I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. You know? Sorry. Just a second. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone, you're not part of this. That's right. That's true enough, your problems aren't mine. We are and always will be completely separate. Until the end of the game, where I suddenly have a random change. So, what? What was that? 
So whatever's causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Hey. <laughs> I prefer our old version. Did he just say something important like it was nothing? <laughs> Byakura, where have you been up to now? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Such I was in the bath. What else do you, would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? Or horoscope? He was taking a bath. Is he saying he's been talking alter ego? I'm so smart! It would seem... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Uh, good idea. Mm. Mixed bath. Okay. A mixed bath. Boys and girls bathing together. If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. I wanna see if I can go at it. Damn it! No! 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 Uh, Fagawa. Fagawa. Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you start to come here? Uh, come here. What El Torigo has to say too? What's your problem? I, I already heard it with Master. With <laughs> Master. <sighs> you don't have to keep saying it anyway. So what are you doing right now? <laughs> Sh shut up! Stop bothering me. How about that? Get out of the way! We have to talk to El Torigo. Well. No, I made Master a promise. Mm. A promise. <laughs> Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you? What are you? He's dark. <laughs> if that's what Master wants, I'll do anything. <laughs> you just love being mistreated. <laughs> well, fun. If you really want me to be gone, by all means. <laughs> what, 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 what? Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> uh, we'd like, we'd like you to move. Yes. Your thing. Just kneel before me and beg. What, what? First, the Mega Masochist, now Super Sadist. That's uh, that's funny. Uh, it's okay, seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let me use the laptop. What, 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 what? Huh? You Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg! How about that? Come on, Mikoto, give her the old one-two combo, one drop to your knees, and two beseech! Why are you actually like you're not part of this? I was as desperate as I felt, and finally I did kneel down in front of her and I said, Please, I'm begging you. Please, will you please let me use your scissors? I mean, laptop. I don't want to kill anyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. Oh, my bits of banger at Master for abusing me is evaporating. <sighs> so even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to your alter ego. <laughs> God, that's terrifying. Where is she now? Oh, she's over there now. <laughs> Everyone, come closer! I already told Biakia, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on his laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um... oh, I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way, resting on the keyboard, my hands started to shake. Just a second. Move. A single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded. I moved to um, I moved to let her take over. So then, here we go. Kyoko began typing the words, appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Leave it to me. Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain place had been put into effect here. Plan: to isolate the students of Hope Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the st stated goal of the plan, but it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. Uh, that's... I see. It's exactly the same situation we found ourselves in. Hey. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... none other than the administrator of Hope's Peak Academy himself. Ugh, sorry, my throat's a little dry. Huh? Uh, wait, hold on! Then the reason we're being prisoned here, it was the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization, whatever? No way! It was the school itself? <gasps> that doesn't make any sense! Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. 
Perhaps if we should, perhaps if we should hear the rest. Yeah, that's a good point. That's right. It seems that the reason they devised the plan was because of what happened over a year ago. This is how they described the, the event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? Uh, what does that mean? What? What? Uh, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise, it's known as a tragedy. It was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, wow. Host Speaker Kenning was forced to discontinu discontinue its role as a school and closed down. I see. I see. Things are starting to make sense. What that means is one year ago, this tragedy took place. And whatever it was, it forced Host Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned the sequester, sequester to sequester the students here, where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, um... Um, but why would the host speaker um, administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey. And what could this tragic event possibly be? In a flash, Gerko typed the questions into the computer. And the answer we got was... Sorry, I don't know. If the information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. Uh, that sucks. Yo, useless footies! Okay, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, okay? I love you. Please don't cry. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. No, you're not. And that's all he said. What? Is this really the end? We got halfway through and the answer is that! Indeed. It would appear so. Ugh, disappointing. Nike, I blame you! Oh, wait! There's one other thing I forgot to mention. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has something to do with the Mastermind. The Mastermind? Oh my god! Kyogre's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the Mastermind's identity? No, that's, I, that, I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I, I think. The one leading the Host Peak staff? The one who finalized the plan to isolate you? It's you, Nagi! It's actually you this whole time! I'm kidding. Was the Host Peak Madmaster? So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the Headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. The headmaster? Is here in the school? What okay. the hell is wrong with Kirigiri? That's gonna mean the headmaster mind. I mean, monokuma has been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real madmaster that much more suspicious. We're serious. But if we break down the door to the room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll, I'll find... I'll find a way. Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, Kyo, Kyo, um, what are you doing? I... I can't explain why, I just know that if I have I have to find him. She asked her, Kyoko, what's going on with you? What she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then... What should we... We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. Let's uh, see, so yeah, learn anything else. Sorry. That's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. Sorry. And it's really over. Hey. Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um... Um, well, it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something else. Um... I haven't seen Lisa Fumi Otaku since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys. They're all dead. I see, suddenly I knew that was a possibility, but... Okay, then. It really happened. Sorry. Sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway... Oh, at least that's a little better than the Tran translation. I think it, he said something along the lines of, Um, I shouldn't be sad over this, I'm a machine? And I'm like, oh, damn it, that's depressing. Well then, I guess that's it. That's it, a simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job, thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. then maybe I'll take a little rest. Kinda tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. Oh. Without the laptop and its sleep mode. Fucking hell. I see. Solterigo did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But. 
but I feel kind of sorry for him. But... You feel sorry, but he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it did, but well, that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm. Oh, no. But when we talked to Alter Eager, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey. Hey, come on. It's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? Yeah, but you can't talk to a program. But you can talk to Alter Ego properly. But, you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person in AI. Alter Ego is human, I know that. It's just a program. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah, and he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think maybe I understand what you're coming from. <laughs> and there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier. How about that? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gets value to survival. So... So anyway... What? What? Don't say so anyway. Don't, don't so anyway that. It's a totally smart and cool thing that I caught from I don't remember where. Hey. Anyway, there's no more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role is this... Is... And this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who isn't... Isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. Story's gone off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um, yeah, good idea. What was that whole speak stuff star thinking? What, what, what? Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm. Alter Ego said that one, what happened one year ago is what started everything. Well... Yeah, he said he was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in tr human history, the tragedy. It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen over a year ago? Uh, um... I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... The event led to closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least. If nothing else, there must have some kind of connection to this school. What? What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something! However... The kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Could it be... Then maybe they covered it up! That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up the story like that, I suppose it's not entirely possible. I'm um, impossible, sorry. What the heck? What's wrong with the government? Our taxes pay their salaries? They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway... Maybe, but right now there's only one path to open to us. So... We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Correct. We have to find him and make, us, make him tell us everything. No matter what? As long as we get our hands on him, I think. Kiriko? What she said, headmaster. I got the feeling. Well... But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So then... Well, our business is done here, so for now we should get out of here. Uh, um... Oh, yeah, good idea. Yep. Did I? <laughs> is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... <laughs> oh no, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. <laughs> Biaku is going to be so mad at me. <sighs> Let's avoid getting involved any further. Uh, um... uh, good call. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Oh my Bye -bye. god! My head is pounding away! Pounding! 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 It's pounding with anger! Yeah. <laughs> huh? You're not mad about the whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? <laughs> oh, a little matter doesn't matter even a little. I'm a little jealous of the guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath. But that doesn't matter either. Yeah. It's building! I feel it building! No, my heart's about to boil all of a rage! Please. Don't get so angry here. Let me help send to your chakra. <laughs> oh boy. Itch this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. Knife for an eye, a fang for a fang. Huh? Fang for a fang? <laughs> Be careful. He just chanted the incantation of devastation. <laughs> no, it's just the same. Hmm. Oh, I see. But what's he talking about? Ooh. I'm a little worried as to do with sucker right now. <coughs> Betrayal? This is a school announcement. Shut oh. the fuck up. Correct. So it's nighttime. Hey. What does everyone want to do? Celise was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Hmm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I think it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um, I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. 
So everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the, ne the rest of the night. Do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I don't know, I like the soundtrack for Duncan Romper a lot, so much that I just find myself going into a trance and singing along a lot. Do, do, do. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What did we learn from Alter Ego? It kept on spinning around and around in my mind. The administrators of Hope Peak had planned all of this. Then they did be they did it because of the tragedy which had happened a year ago. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all. The mastermind. <sighs> All these mysteries make me worried, but I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. 